Hey guys, it's Trisha with I Sell Baby Alive, and right now I'm going to show you a lot of dolls that are not Baby Alive's because they are from my childhood. I have loved dolls and have been playing with dolls since I can remember. Honestly, the first memory I have is my grandmother walking down a big set of stairs and she had this doll in her hand and she said, somebody's been missing you, and it was my little baby Patapur. Um, this is Baby Patabert Mattel made in the 60s, and you would pat her back, and she would burp, just like Bitsy Burpsy, isn't that cool? So, Bitsy Burpsy isn't a new thing. She copied Baby Patabert from the 60s. I had several Baby Patabert's, but I also had a lot of Baby Tender Loves. This is newborn baby tender love. And what was new and original and cool about this doll is how soft the vinyl was. Really squishy and soft. And she had the prettiest little baby face. She was a drink and wet doll. I had the big version of baby tender love, which this doll now is kind of hard to find and worth a lot of money. Not a lot of money. I probably could sell her for 60 bucks. But anyway, she, um was without a doubt my absolute very favorite doll. She's very big. Her entire body was vinyl, so you could put her in the swimming pool or the lake or the um, bathtub with you. She's fully jointed, so she's just really easy and fun to like hold and sit on your lap, and she would just kind of hug up to you. I really loved that part about this baby. And have you noticed how clean my baby dolls are? Um, these dolls are, I mean, I'm sorry to age myself, but over 50 years old. Well, okay, she was, uh, maybe she's 40 years old because I was 10 when I had this doll. I played with dolls till I was probably 15 years old. But I was cool. I was the cheerleader and I made good grades in school, but at home I had my dolls. I loved, I still play with dolls. Um, and I'm not a weird person. I have a, <laughs> a really cool life, but I just do what I love and I love what I do. And that's a great life lesson for all of you. Figure out what it is you are passionate about and roll with it. Our version of a cool 18 inch fashion doll, this doll's probably like 16 inch, but this is velvet and um, her sister Chrissy had red hair. Uh, this is an ideal doll and she could have really long hair. It all comes out of the hole in her head because the whole cool thing about these dolls, you could crank her little um, dial and she could have a doll with short hair. And then if you wanted to grow her hair out, all you would do is press her tummy button. Feels like it's already pressed. And then you would just gently pull her hair out to whatever length you wanted. Isn't that cute? So you guys take care of your dolls because you'll be so tickled. I had way more dolls, but I have kept the ones that were truly special to me and that I just adore. Um, I had several beautiful Madame Alexander dolls, but the one that I've decided to keep was my favorite baby, Victoria. Sorry it's so washed out. We're literally right beside a big window. Um, that's where I like to do my work so I can look out and see the birds and the sunshine. But she has all her original clothes except for her shoes and does her crier work? Her crier doesn't work anymore. She used to go Wee! when you turned her upside down. Anyway, guys, um, I have listed this week a ton of Baby Alive clothes and accessories. Quite a few dolls. I cannot keep a Wets and Wiggles listed. I list it and it sells within a couple of hours. So I'll be listing another Wets and Wiggle today. Also wanted to show you this big um, Ashton Drake uh, designed by Linda Murray doll. She's sort of like a reborn doll. She has little wispy hair, very, very soft um, vinyl cloth body. And then when you turn this doll on, she does this thing where when you put your finger in her hand, she um, grasps onto it. She holds your hand like a, a newborn would. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's kind of sweet though. Anyway, I'll get her all dressed. I'll show you a picture of that listing. And then um, I'll also 
have pictures of my baby alive listings. So the moral of this YouTube video is take care of your um, toys, especially your baby dolls, because you're going to want to be able to show them to your grandkids. Even though I have grandsons, they still think it's funny to see my old dolls and know that they're, you know, 40 something years old. And then, um, in life, do what you love. Love what you do, and the money will follow. Um, that's my motto. It's it's borrowed from some ancient wisdom, but it works. All right, I'll see you guys later and make a video next week. I hope you have the best rest of your week ever, and um, bye. I kind of love you. I do. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.